Hey, what's going on guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion and it looks like the update on Gran Turismo Sport has finally arrived. Well, looks like this is the uh, version 1.23 so let's go and check out some new stuff that has been going on for. So, I kind of think that the Brand Central cars can now be brought from the PlayStation Store so it also costs 2 million credits at or more cannot be brought from the PS store for a moment so that might be available for the micro transaction boards but I still got some of the credits might be okay for it and looks like it's time to go and start making some decals on the racing suit and helmets just like designing our vehicles for it but this will be also to add drivers in to the scrapes image so this is definitely quite cool just like GT5 and GT6. I can't wait so I could probably try it out for this design for this racing suit and helmet sport. So I kind of think that there are seven new cars. Well probably there are eight of them because the two of them are the same board. So let's just say I'll get down to the list. So there's the Honda Beat 1991 has definitely returned from Grand Trismo 2 till now and looks like there's a new Honda is joining in it was the S660 2015 and the Daihatsu Copen Active Top was made its return the Ferrari 250 GTO CN.3729 GT 1962 just come back from Grand Trismo 6 and also from Grand Trismo 5 Prologue was making its return is the Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car. Nice, I can't believe it that the Ford GT race car is finally come back for it. And also the long weighted Group C race car from the 1991 24 Hours of Le Mans is the Mazda 787B 1991. And looks like another Formula One car has definitely joined Sandboard. It was the Mercedes-Benz Mercedes AMG F1 W08 EQ Power Plus 2017. A Formula One race car was been driven by Lewis Hamilton himself. And also there is a color variation included in so this is, might be the good choice for us so we could start designing our own Formula One race car. So there are, this is the brand new mystery course that we are about to go and try out for it. So this course name is Circuit de Sante Corex. Well, looks like it has all three layout tracks included in with forward and reverse, but wow, check it out of this nice bridge. It looks super awesome for it. I can't wait to try out this new track because this is very brand new to us. So I kind of think that there are three new events available in the GT League. So there are this, there is the Lightweight K Cup, the Nostrata Car Festival, and the Mercedes AMG Grand Prix. Just only have for three brand new events available for it. And what else is going on on the Circuit Experience? Circuit de la Sarda has been added into the Circuit Experience after the May update. Well, I kind of think that scenes containing people in a social special collection has been added in for. And it looks like there's the new scenes introduced is the Tokyo Auto Ring Road Chiba selection. So I might be able to go and try it out any kinds of first things first for it. Well, I really guess I'm about to go to the Brand Central to check out some new cars. So. And I really guess that purchase items was been introduced so maybe I'm just going to go and check it out for it. So maybe let's start with America and I really guess let's start with Ford. I really guess that Gran Turismo Ford GT has been moved into the Ford section. So maybe there is a little bit update on, on the manufacturer series. So the Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car has been also to be marked as a group 3 I'm really gonna go and buy this race car for the best returning well I kinda think the Ford GT LM Spec 2 race car was used to be a 1 million
credits so it also deducted to be as 450 but it is definitely marked as a group 3 race car because this is a definitely good perfect choice so I'm really gonna go and buy this one because this is definitely gonna be cool to, to see it Well, maybe I'll just have to be patient for a while, but I might be able to get ready to go for it, but I still wanted to try out for it. Okay, maybe not. Well, looks like this is brand new for it. So, I kind of think that this will also buy it from the PlayStation Store, but well, I really guess I'm just gonna buy using credits for it. Well, it is definitely surprising, but it only costs two forty-nine dollars with real cash for it. So maybe I'll just have to buy using credit instead. So I might be good for using the in-game credits for it. Wow, that was a nice cool music effect bringing the car in so well I'm really gonna go and try this out before I'm about to get ready for the new track okay good thing that Ford GT made his return for this race car but well I also comment on YouTube to think that it might be gonna be a Ford GT race car for it so I might be excited for it so Next up is the Mercedes Benz, and let's see what else did they got for us. Okay, looks like this is gonna be cool. It only costs two minute, two million credits, so maybe this one is definitely quite cool. That's been driven by Lewis Hamilton since Formula One 2017. Unfortunately, this is definitely quite very cool for this fast vehicle. Well, maybe for start. I might be able to save the credits, so I might be able to check it out for this one. So there are 11 variation colors are also available, just like Formula Gran Turismo. But maybe let's check on the studio scenes and which one should I go with. Wow, I really guess this is a lot of good colors I'm about to go and begin to choose for. Well, I kind of think that the other side with the Mercedes AMG on on it for this official library board and also six colors doesn't include for this one. So I really guess I'm really go for the blue color. So I'm really gonna good for this one. And oh yeah, the worst thing is it cannot change the livery on that car. That might be quite ineligible but maybe let's check on the Lewis Hamilton F1 library see if this is so looks like it cannot change livery as well maybe I'll just have to go and pick the blue color so I might be able to buy this credit so I could probably acquire it for this vehicle nice this will be keeping in for now, but I'm still trying to explore more. So let's go to the Ferrari and let's see that that the Gran Turismo 6 car is going to be shown that it was a highly expensive, just like the 330p4 1967. Man, this is going to be a lot of big credits to go and buy this one. So I really guess that 20 million credits is definitely the most highest amount of price for it. But I'll make sure I'll be declined this moment. But I mean, so many expensive vehicles with a high price, that could be a lot of it. Now, I really guess that the Daihatsu has been added in to the second vehicle. Well. Since the racing jacket Vision Gran Turismo was there, 
So I really guess let's go and buy the two K cars on Honda. So I might be able to take a look at the Honda Beat 1991 for the first time as a fully premium car. Well, since Gran Turismo 2 and Gran Turismo 6 was turns out to become a standard vehicle, but take a look at this nice interior. That was a great retro beauty K car aspect. That was a standardized slow vehicle in Japan because this is a nice beauty. But it also has four colors also available. But I kind of think the Honda Beat was still also seen in other racing games like Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift. So I really guess I'm about to go and buy the Carnival Yellow. So I could probably buy the using the credit rather than using real money from the PlayStation Store. Alright, welcome aboard Honda Beat. Glad you can enjoy it in Gran Turismo Sport. So, looks like it's time to next up to see the Honda S600. Well, 660, what the car name is. So I really guess this is a brand new Honda Beat on this new vehicle, but it is the 2015 model, but take a look at this nice interior for it. So I really guess that the Carnival Yellow 2 was definitely the good aspect color, but there are a lot of six colors in total for it. But maybe the Honda CRC could also be added in later on until probably next month. So I might be able to go and buy this new S660 with using in-game credits. Well, probably I'm just gonna have to save up the real money for something else for it. So I'm really guess I'm about to keep this one instead. Okay, next up is Mazda for getting the 787B. Good thing our retro rotary race car from the 1991 is definitely made its return since fully premiumized from Gran Turismo 5. But it is definitely used to be a as a special variation from Gran Turismo 4 as a black car and later it became a stout model. The stout model is definitely quite very cool. So I'm really going to go and buy this rotary engine race car for it because this one is the fourth group C race car for the group 1 category ladies and gentlemen that is very cool with a new rotary engine sound well can't wait I wanted to try this out for a moment this is going to be quite good just like the LM55 Vision Grand Trismo group 1 but two Mazda LMP cars are finally coming back together since Gran Turismo 6 and this will be quite very enjoyable to look for. Now last but not least is going over to Daihatsu is the Copen. Well the Copen is the only one standard vehicle for the selection but well we always like the K cars for it but it also has eight colors so I might be able to do the studio scenes and see maybe which color should I choose. So I would like to go with the Junaen yellow so I could probably accept this one. Okay, that's very good. So looks like I got all the cars purchased except the Ferrari for the highly expensive price. So I really guess this might be the only way for get everything checked in for. So let's check on the campaign on the GT League. But even so, I kind of think that a new round on the Porsche Cup. So this might be a 60 minute race on Circuit de la Sarda. Well, I kind of think that I might be able to do a little quick preview check. So, looks like the lightweight K Cup is now added in on the beginner league and also two new rounds on the F-150 Raptor survival but this is going to be quite very cool for get everything set up. So let's check on the amateur league. 
Just want to make sure that two new rounds will be added in for. Well, I kind of think the, the race number five is going to be at the dirt. I'll make sure that all wheel drives only for get everything in for. And looks like the Nostatic Car Festival has been added in on the Amateur League. That's quite very good. And also the Vision Grand Turismo Trophy is bringing out some two new rounds for it. Circuit de la Sarda and Kyoto Driving Park Yamaguita plus Miyabi for it. That was gonna be quite good for get ready to be prepared for it. So looks like I'm going back to do the GT League after this moment. So, I guess Circuit La Sarda is definitely added into the list and looks like I'm about to go and take a look. So this will be using a group 1 car rather than a group 3 because this is going to be very fast and mastering the Le Mans track. Okay, so maybe what else is checking on here? Oh yeah, I haven't get everything settled in to buy all the good stuff on the mileage exchange so I kind of think it's been changing up differently since the update arrived. I might be able to go and spend all of it. Well, I know I'm just taking a little bit of break before I'm about to do some of the videos on GTA Online so maybe let's check on some of the new stuff on the library editor. So helmet and suit library has been added in for changing up the designs for. Oh yeah, you guys have been known that I made all the helmets but all the paper toll drama characters. I might be able to do it to change so I might be able to get everything started up for. Now, I kind of think these are all the racing suits I just made so this will be able to be prepared so I would like to go to start out with well maybe I'll have to choose my racing outfit because this is going to be quite good all right let's go and get ready to set up but well I really guess this will be good for the colors for now and then well I guess this is going to be good to be true just setting up a nice set on each specific face model for it. Well, it is also the using on the front, back, left, and right as well. So maybe let's see that there are flag to be used to be fresh percent. I really guess this is going to be quite good for making the fine choice for it. So I would like to give my Toll Drama OC Angela for doing the makeover design for. So, looks like it's time to get to work and start using the personal decals for it. And it looks like all of it has been placed. Just wanted to check in. Oh man, looks like FIA logos are now here in place. So, looks like there might be all the decals are been added in for. Just like the vehicles so this will be quite very good so I really guess maybe I'll be able to get starting on the first decal selection so maybe I'll have to go and grab my signature name on it well I only had to take a while until okay there's my logo let's give it a shot for it okay so really guess that this may be quite very challenging for it. So maybe let's check it out and see which camera design is going to be quite setting up for. Okay, that might be same usual. Now let's just do something else to add for the have my signature name to be put it right here first well I might be able to do all the decals of each design for it this will give it a better makeover of course well probably might be able to get used to the new stuff for it 
This will give me the basics for it. So I would like to use for the Gran Turismo logo with a different white font style. This will give him much better for it. Oh yeah, I might be able to do the back right here. So let's just put it right here on the back of the Gran Turismo logo, just like the other ones from the PS3 era. Okay, this will be good. So I would like to give a little taste for the UDRS logo. That might be quite giving a good choice. So let's just scroll down and reappear in all styles. Well, it'll take a while to load. Okay, there you are. So let's just size them up here and let's bring the GT logo right over there. So this might be quite good. Okay, go back to the chest. So this will grab it in as usual. Okay, so probably the layer control, so the depth limit and angle limit doesn't show, but this is gonna get everything right time for. So let's see if I could give it a shot to see how it turns out to be. Just gonna have to make very better and very related to it. So let's just put in deep knit to art right here. So this might be quite perfectly good. Okay, putting on YouTube right over here. I'm just going to make something better for it. Okay, Chris Bass Fit Fitness will be right here. Oh yeah, I really guess this might be the good time to be putting on the Total Drama logo. Could be go right here. There you go. Well, I'm really gonna do it with the base side. But maybe let's see if this is gonna be the good choice for it. Alright, so let's go and putting on the FIA logo will be right here and well maybe this might be cannot duplicate on the right side. Maybe this will give him more challenging for it. Alright, so let's do the right shoulder and let's put another FIA logo right here. Just wanted to choose a different logo if I had to go and get it. So maybe let's put in the Total Drama logo will be right here on the other side. But maybe it cannot be able on the right shoulder, so maybe I'll have to figure this out to do something very perfectly. Okay, looks like maybe this one should be quite good on start for it. Okay, so looks like this is definitely quite very good for this race outfit. So, looks like I'll give it a save. But don't worry folks, I'll make sure I'll be racing on the new track until just about any moment. So I'm just really going to try out all the cool steps I really going to need. Because it's all about creativity and this is going to be quite very perfectly for it. Because design is created for everyone. So I'll make sure I'll be get ready to go and 
choose the next step. But now, I'll be able to use with the hel helmet metallic. So, I kind of think helmet metallic is definitely my good choice of the color. So, maybe let's see. Ooh, spectacle. That might be quite good. So, I really guess checking each different mode for the helmet design. So, I really guess this is definitely quite good to be shown for. And, well, the top logos might be okay. So, I might be able to be present to be shown for. So, maybe let's go and start out on the left section. So, maybe let's start with the front. So I might be able to go and start choosing a pattern layout shape. So I'm really going to have to start something very cool and skip it though. So maybe this one should be the first start. So maybe let's horizontally in and, and maybe have a different set of colors would be mine might be a good variable choice so maybe let's start with the gray color and let's see how am i gonna to get everything set well i really guess the gran turismo logo is the best type So I may be able to do with the blue color. Might be the best suitable choice ever to be made. Very awesome and maybe let's start with the back. Okay, so maybe I'll just add a different shape layout and Let's see how this will work. B splendid performance to see it. So, I really guess this will be quite good for the different spot boards. So, I might be able to do with a skeptical part. So, I really guess, let's see. Oh! I kind of think alignment is definitely the good choice. So maybe let's go and grab the Gran Turismo logo on top. So this might be the good choice for it. Well, it always do the, the usual part because this is going to be quite very excited to see how it turns out to be. Okay, so let's grab the UDRS logo. We'll be going right here. So I really guess that it, it is definitely a shell spot for this section. So I'll make sure I'll have to get used to all of it until I'm about to do a lot of good training tactics to get everything set up or makeover. But by the way, creating your own racing outfits and helmets is definitely the good rarest opportunity for it. But this might be the good design set for it because that's quite very good to be setting up to make your own designs. Just like having a generosity is all about making fine dresses. So I might be able to do one other thing for, oh yeah, I also mentioned forgot that I, I'm about to be looking forward to watch uh, Toll Drama Rama. It's definitely like Toll Drama Daycare. So I really guess I'll be looking forward to watch for it. 
if anybody who is a Total Drama fan, so go right ahead if you really want to do some interest about it. Alright, so looks like maybe that's a good background showcase on this UI menu. Okay, so this is definitely quite very good, just like cruising around in the forest. Also has some for photo scenes around here. Well, maybe this might be the right time to get ready for a race. Because I'm ready to go for trying out the new track. Okay, so looks like it's time for a little scroll down and looks like I'm about to get ready to race on Circuit de Sante Chorus because it has a lot of track variations around here, but it was a lot of number of distance. So I maybe I would like to go with Circuit A because it is definitely like Blue Moon Bay Speedway all over again, but it is definitely different for it. So looks like there are different conditions to be shown from dawn to dusk. I'm really going to be excited to see all the good things to show on the conditions. So maybe let's see which one should I go start with. But then let's start with the sunrise and let's get everything started. So maybe I would like to go and try it out the Ford GT back to test car because this it's been a long a while for this base car for it because this will get everything prepared so I really guess that I might be able to do two laps for it I just want to be sure of it okay let's add it up and maybe let's do the grid start Oh yeah, I really guess that that the same categories are always be usual. But I know it's definitely a group X between two formula cars, so I might be able to go pro for it. So let's just go with the tire wear and fuel consumption. So. I might be able to get ready to get started for it. So looks like Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car was a group 3 category division. Well probably like a, a GT2 race car version but this is definitely different but I'm so excited I'm about to ready to race for this one for the first time in Gran Turismo Sport. But there will be a Spec 2 race car version from Gran Turismo will be included so I might be able to be trying out for a bit until later on until the big party update in July might be quite very excited all right looks like layout course a on circuit the Senti Corex that might be the good place on this good different new fictional track location very realistic very realistic on the sunrise port. But I cannot believe it, this is definitely awesome. So, I really guess I might be able to change the taxing control. So, I really guess that the horsepower is 590 HP, but well, the settings are always still the same since the last time on the previous Gran Turismo games on the PS3 era. So looks like it's time to go in and let's get this race started for the Group 3 Epic. Alright, first time we're using the 4GT LM Spec 2 race test car. It looks like they're joining the race with all the Group 3 cars. I'm so excited for this new track layout. Oh man, this is going to be very intense. I'm really going to get used to this new track. 
it is definitely quite perfect. Specific kinds of shape layout. Well, I kind of think it is a French course. It is definitely located in southern France. So I'll make sure this will do it nice and neat for this wonderful good segment for it. Look at this nice engine for the Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car. It is different like a, a motorized muscle car, but it is different engine sound like this one, but it's brand new. Well, I really wish that if the Audi R8 LMS first gen model of the 2012 24 Hours of Nürburgring and also really want to miss out like this one. Passing several Group 3 cars, there is the Jeep by Citroen and Fagia, this is the GT. Well, I kind of think most other players about this new track think that it is definitely most like Drive Club, but, well, I didn't even play Drive Club yet, but, well, maybe most of you guys should ask me to try out someday, but, well, it is a lot of racing games everywhere on the PS4 platform. Plus, well, GT Sport has the new cool stuff for it, and oh man, I never believed this bridge is so excited after I taken this corner, and looks like I really enjoyed seeing the nice scenic view on this bridge corner for it. But it is straight. It's very excited and. Boy, I am really expressing myself for trying out this new track board. Well, I don't want to get cocky like this, but it's all about learning new great tracks to see, because this is definitely going to have to use it on dirt pits and views. Well, most of it, I'm just going to keep in track of the time because I'm always going to do two laps for it. Well, according to the rumors about about these people are talking about Ziggurat de la Sierra from Gran Turismo 6, well, they think they were wrong because the track is not Sierra course. because this is going to be quite very challenging for this new track for it. So, looks like it's time for the final lap and let's see how I did well for racing on the Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car and looks like I hope I hope this super car race car can also take on the two BMW M6 for the first time to be as the main categorized opponent. I hope this 4G can also be two BMW M6 at the same time for it. But they just love want to a new group 3 race cars to come in for challenging them for an all-out race. Okay, looks like I'm going closer. Just gonna have to slow down. Falling up the apex. Oh, 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 that was a nice save, but it's still durable light. But I can also get used to it. quick break and turn on the certain corners. Wow, I'm really good. I really like the scenic view on all over the track. That's definitely quite giving a good 
rare opportunity to see this nice attractive environment. Alright, so looks like going back onto the bridge. I really like this part. Breaking around the long bridge and also checking out on the coastal line view of the ocean. Hello to BMW M6. Hope you really want a challenge for the Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car. Well, I'm always like to interact with the two BMW M6 for having a challenge. Well, I know what what they want me to say. Show me what I got. Is the copy line most saying word? Come on. Okay, coming up on the last stretch. Almost there. Oh, so close. Looks like the Nürburgring 24 hour BMW M6 just came in first. And, well, I did my best. That was a good track for this race, folks. And looks like the big place for the same test car that I just used. That was a very good race for that moment. Well, I hope if, if the Corvette CR1 LM race car 2009 is going to be joining the race as a group 3 race car. But most of the players say it was, yes, bring that Corvette CR1 C6 in GT Sport, please, PDI. They just want to see the 6th generation Corvette to bring it in. So, I really guess that the clean race bonus is definitely good on the new track. So, finally got some uh, second place earnings, so I might be able to get started on the daily workout. So, well, hope you've seen this new style racing outfit, but this is definitely shining metallic. Well, it is definitely like a knight in shining armor, but well, I guess that my custom design has definitely shown. So, looks like it's time to go on into the next course is the layout B. Okay, so this is course B. That is definitely like shorter for it. So, 5.89 miles on A is definitely medium and well, maybe the third part is the longest course. This is going to be much different like Le Mans all over again. So, maybe let's go with course B and let's just see maybe I would like to go with the evening with the different clear conditions well it is just like Willow Springs International Raceway with a different sky view conditions but well everybody always loves the clear skies but this will give them a much relatively to see how it turns out to be. Alright, well, looks like the same starting grade as usual. Well, maybe I might be able to go and change vehicles for a moment. So, I really guess that I also had a lot of good vehicle selection to choose for. So I might be able to get ready to set up for it. So let's choose a, a different group 3 category. So I really guess I might be able to get started first for it. Oh! I don't want to do this on this design books but this is definitely important. But I really guess this is, might be the better time to unveil it until the next part. Alright, so maybe let's go and pick a different Group 3 car. So maybe let's just go and choose the Subaru WRX Group 3 Toll Drama Library Bridget. Well, I really guess that I might be able to change a different racing outfit, but no turning back. 
I'm just gonna have to get used to it to beat the second part of the challenge part. So, I'll just have to wait until... There you go. So, let's go and give it a try for it. Oh, talk about nice flowers over there with the purple flowers on this course. That was a good place on this view. Maybe I'll just try it out for on the B course layout. All right, and they're up, and let's let's have for another two three race on race two on the new track. Okay, so it looks like this is definitely the first turn as usual. Well, probably another 4 GT race car is definitely still on place. Along with the Toyota Supra DR racing concept was definitely quite in. Well, maybe I'll just be able to use the, the UDRS French racing library for the last and final part. Okay, so looks like this is definitely different track layout as usual before we go on to the bridge. Man, a lot of good three cars are definitely having a little time to be driving around the drag bridge. It is definitely like Grand Valley Speedway all over again, but different. Well, maybe you guys really want to race on Grand Valley Speedway again. But check out this nice scenic view on the evening position. That was a nice, good, beautiful view over there when we took that corner, folks. Okay, and this time, going on into the long straight. Then let's take on over to the forest section, right over here. But still always having two laps for it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. near miss experience dodging in on the McLaren 650S rear. So, looks like this is going to be on the final turn. So, I hope this is going to be quite very good for us. Final lap, and let's go. Ooh, that was so close for us. Take that corner over there. Only got six to go. Man, that fourth feet layout is definitely quite very good. Before, after taking the bridge corner, we just always love the good view on the background on the lake here. Okay, let's go back onto the bridge. So. I really guess I'm really lucky to use this library to drive on this bridge courses. There's the Ford GT again. Stay steady and let's keep it nice and neat for it. Okay, part again. That was a nice lake view over here. Okay, almost there, catching up on to the two BMW M6. Just a little bit more long course and take on the right point.
Okay, so definitely this corner doesn't need to do any breaking points, so this might be giving a little bit likely turn for it. That might be quite very easier and much for it. Okay, looks like one last stretch. And looks like that might be the only hit for the two BMW M6 and looks like that's another first place victory win. Gosh, this is definitely quite very harder than it is. Well, that saves a good reputation for our little clean race bonus. So, that's definitely third place earnings might be go up ahead for it. Well, I kind of think that the uh, race results has been come in for. But the M Power and the Walken host is definitely the most strongest Group 3 cars ever to be told. So, I really guess this is going to be one last stage. It's going to be the course C of the Circuit de Sante Chorus. But I would like to do something else to make it better for us. So, maybe. Let's just go on afternoon to see how it turns out to be. Well, I'm just gonna have to do a little change conditions until the next day. Until be rated until the best part ever. Just like Circuit de la Sarda Le Mans track. But it is very different with all the high advanced technical corners to be able to be shown around here. But I'll make sure I'll be prepared to use for the one final last step is one is the Renault Sport RS1 UDRS library with French France all over it. Okay, there's there's the French racing library mark UDRS all over again. So I'll be ready to change the car until I'll be ready to be prepared for the one simple final step to beat the two BMW M6. Racing medium tires, I hope you can ready to go because this race car is about to make its way to master this new track for the country of France. Let's go and let's try out this advanced track. And they're off. All Group 3 race cars are about to be prepared for the grand finale of the new track. But this time the left corner is definitely the deal thing to do. Oops. Well, probably that might be giving a little safe baking time for it. All right, looks like this is, might be the only first straight up ahead until a tougher corner might be coming up ahead. So this time, this is gonna get very tricky over here. So it is different need in the band track on 4C. So this might be quite very lucky. Highly advanced skills to be longer to take. So I might be able to do my best because this race can also take two laps for it because that might be very longer to take. Because this is gonna get very longer looks like just like the Nurburgring and Le Mans. Well it is definitely a combination track board. But take a look at this nice view board. 
itself looks like we're about to be approaching it until making onto the bridge. Well, maybe this might be the only time to do that for it, but I've always liked to drive around with the bridge corner for it. Alright, after the bridge corner that we also love to see this nice view over here. So, looks like the hard part is going on extreme long straight, but this is going to be much faster like the Nurburgring at the end of the Seven speed up and going, and then let's approach in on the last corner at the end of this lane over here. bit careful on that corner so I probably have to do it very nice and slow. Alright so looks like this might be the last corner on this part so looks like it's time to move on into the next lap so this race can also take four minutes long so I'll make sure I'll have to do my best for it. So looks like Nissan TTR and two BMW M6 are always coming in to be in strong speed. So, only single chances for the new DRS French Racing Team Library on the Renault Sport can also give a little chance to be a little represent for the country of France. That calls in for the yellow flag caution. Well, maybe I should probably have to be more careful next time, so I might be able to get used to the sea course layout. Well, maybe I just did in the first lap, but I did very good. Well, the second lap, I kind of think that's a little bit harder of a mistake, so this will be giving a little bit more time to practicing it. Okay, coming back to the bridge and Give him a little bit of pace time for it.
Okay, so Simon says, learn the new tracks and learn to experience the new skills of new sets of racing challenges. Well, I'm going to guess that having a little bit different quote, but no one ever has to do a little Simon Says, and well, maybe I'll just have to give it all I got until closing in on last corner. Oh man, that was a little bit harsh. That's a little bad move. Okay, so looks like this is gonna be a little rough on the edges, but most other players have uh, tried out the new track, so maybe I might be able to get used to it until I'll be able to get ready and go until I'll make sure I'll have to be be more specifically careful on the new tr new problems of this track, but it is gonna be a little bit practice for it, so I'll make sure I have to try my best until the next part for it. So, looks like that definitely comes out for the earnings and well, I really guess that 4th place might be giving a little bit better for it. So, looks like that's all the 3 new courses on Circuit de Santi Corex. So, I am really did my best, but I'll make sure I'll be coming back again until the next segment board. So, maybe I would like to do something first on the photo scene, so maybe I'll just have to do on the daily workout first. I just want to see which one is which. Okay, the Honda NSX would be rally cars, so this might be better for it. Oh, and speaking of which, I'm really going to have to go and buy all the colors from the mileage exchange until tomorrow when it's going to be updating. So I might be able to go on the spinning spree. Okay, yell to small flakes after G4. Well, I really guess I did a lot of good stuff so I could probably have to go on the shopping spree. Okay, that's better. So, definitely all the rim styles no need to purchase. So, I kind of think that there will be different profile poses until it's going to be coming in for it until since the update has finally came out. But, I guess that one more thing is going to have to try out with these new photo scene sports. So, maybe let's try the road. So it is a ring road that circles central Tokyo for it. So I just wanted to take a look for it and see how it... So, so this might be the good view on the toll booth. So that might be quite very intriguing for this one. So I kind of think that there are different photo scenes in Japan and well, I guess that might be the same usual for but these are the new ones for it. Because this is definitely very brand new for it. And it looks like driver scenes. So that might be placed on for only one driver to be allowed to choose for. Well, maybe let's see which one should I start with. Oh yeah, I might be able to go with the home straight entrance on Le Mans. So I might be able to go and grab my Corvette C7 Group 3 race car and get everything going on for. Alright, let's place my guy over here and and there he is. So there are different options for it so I really guess Hmm. Maybe I would like to go with the other parts so I could probably have to zoom in for. Well, 
Well, there are different kinds of options for it. Well, I've already placed one driver in, but maybe the driver on in it and well, it also changes any avatar driver you want. So this might be giving a little bit depends on. So I might be able to see how it turns out to be. So I'm just using the driver post five. So I've already got seven of them. So I might be able to get choose up for it. Perfect. Just like the same thing as usual. So maybe I'll just take one snapshot and that will be it. Fantastic good picture. I like it. So looks like I'll be able to get ready to wrap this up for it. But it's been a long day because that's a lot of good stuff been coming on for it. So that's all the new stuff on on the July update on Gran Turismo Sports. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that new track. So I guess that might be the good place for it. So that might be a lot of possibilities. So there will be another a lot of GTA online videos. So I might be able still on for a limited time. So I'll make sure I'll be had to do it until the end of August until it's definitely inaccessible but it's gonna be free for a moment but without a PlayStation member plus for it but it, if it don't membership plus only to go into GTA online both so I'll make sure I'll be ready to wrap this up so please don't forget to click like comment and subscribe on YouTube Check the links down below on the description if you want to see more for it. Well, I'll see you guys next time on Gran Turismo Sport. And I'll see you guys later.